Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Steve of Coastal Carolina Living. And I'm Caitlin. And uh, we're going to show you guys our new wild game freezer. But first, keep these awesome new shirts we just got from our friends over at Jelly Game. Oh, wait, let me flip it. All right, there you go. Look at their awesome logo and they even put our logo on the front. They just got their new website built with all their new baits. So we're going to drop that in the link under the description. So go ahead, check them out, order some baits. They're amazing. All right, y'all, this is our old chest freezer. It's just a Thompson brand. I believe we got it at Costco. I can't remember if it's a five or a seven cubic foot, but it is packed full, which is not great for the freezer. It's not great for our meat. Um, and we have officially ran out of room. So we treated ourselves on Black Friday to a new freezer at Costco. And we now have this stand up stainless steel front, 11 cubic foot freezer and it has so much room so we got some stuff to get it all organized we're gonna get everything kind of switched over and then we'll sh show you our game freezer all right so we have four shelves on our freezer so we went ahead and got ourselves four storage baskets so that we could try to keep everything oh i'm sorry try to keep everything organized while it's in there so we're gonna go ahead and fill these up all right, y'all, we are now at the bottom of our freezer. We've got it all cleared out. So let's show you how we have the new one organized. She is packed full, and it is such a beautiful sight to see. Um, so right now, on the top rack, we have some fish stock that I made. Um, I don't like to pressure can this because it just kind of weirds me out. So I just leave this frozen. We have all of our shanks on the door. And then this is the meat that we already have ground. We just grind a little bit at a time. So in this bottom drawer here, we have all of our meat that we still need to grind. We just cube it up and put it in these packages um, until we're ready to grind it. Starting at the top here, this bin has all of our backstrap steaks and tenderloins in it. This next bin has all of our like hind roasts, our neck roasts and things like that. The third bin down is all of our fish and seafood that we've caught. So we've got shrimp, some crab, stuff like that in there. Um, and then all of our freezer packs fit right down the side. So those will always be frozen for fishing season. And then this bottom one here is all of the bones I have saved up for soup. And then all of the grind meat and stuff that we save for the dogs. Anything that's kind of a little bit bloodshot or um, less than desirable. And the liver, the heart, all that stuff we grind up for the dogs and they love it. So this is our new freezer setup. For the year we're super 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 pumped let us know how you guys like to organize your freezers in the comments below